Hi y'all. This video is about modifying parts, replacement parts to work on older equipment. Now normally if you buy something new, um, I think it's 10 years. The manufacturer's got to make parts for about 10 years. I'm not sure what the actual time frame is. I think it's 10 years, but I'm not sure. But after those 10 years ex expi uh, comes up, well the part becomes obsolete and uh, once they're used up. But let me show you what I'm doing here in this example. Now, it's not safe to um, modify parts, okay? I mean, if you do this, you gotta do it at your own risk. But this is what I'm doing. And, and uh, should you happen to buy old equipment, you're gonna see it modified in, in ways that, you know, some modifications are good, some of them aren't, some of them are better than original. It all depends on uh, who's doing it, but uh, in my case here, you know, I, I picked up uh, uh, two tra You know, I'm, I'm replacing the rear wheels on my tractor, and the replacement parts don't fit. So here I have uh, a wheel. Let's put this tire on, and uh, the, the this is called the inner wheel, and it doesn't fit, and it fits in here. But uh, but the bolts, these square bolts don't fit. See that? They don't fit. So what I'm doing to make it fit is, see that right there? See that right there? That fits. I've got to file off the edge right there. I've got to file off the edge so that it will fit, you know, a square, a square, uh, a square does not fit in a circular hole. And this hole, as you can see, is a circle. So I've got to put that on here. I put a bolt on here like this. Hang on, I'll show you. Try and do it with one hand. Putting a bolt on like this. Hang on, wait, hang on a minute. Putting a bolt on like that. All right, hang on, it's hard doing this with one hand. Putting the bolt on. I can't wait to start working on that, rebuilding that. So I put the bolt on here, like so. Oh, there's a burr on the threads. And then you put it in here, and then it's for demonstrations. Um, uh, you put the bolt in here. Oh, look at that! It fell and it worked. Opened up some threads, and uh, you know you put the bolt in there, and uh, let me get that. Let me get that right. Notice how I'm using my knee. Okay. So I'm putting that on there, and then I'm filing it right here. I'm filing that, that square off. Now, normally on your files, you, just get, you, gotta have, you need a handle. Let me show you one with a handle. Hang on. Normally, your, the files have a handle, but I don't have the handle for that. So, uh, you know. I'm doing what I can with what I have. But I'll be filing this, these corners off and making it round so that these bolts will fit in. See that? Can't wait to work on that. Yeah. Okay. A lot of this stuff working on equipment is unsafe. Um, you know, you really gotta know what you're doing when you're doing modifications. Uh, it's just something to know. If if you buy a part, an old old piece of equipment, there might not be the replacement parts might not be available. So you have to figure out how to make them work with what you have to make do with what you could have and what parts you're bringing in. Okay, I'm sure uh, you know one of those big uh, hardware uh, stores uh, might have a, might have a bolt that's already you know filed down different style of bolts. You know those big uh, 
heavy duty uh, industrial type uh, the hardware stores, not your local ones. Okay, just a heads up, uh, when you're dealing with old equipment, you gotta figure out how to make it work. All right, see y'all later.